Time to be she mooning on Capella Magna. The holiest of holies will get frozen solid as we go out of bounds. Alright, show off that glass fire action without actually, you know, having it still sealed. Boy, that was embarrassing. I think I'd learn after so many episodes, but nope. Oh well. I can make an excuse. Hoo hoo hoo. The world's about to be destroyed. Who has time to think about anything when the world is at its end? Or certain groups of people. Like me. So incidentally, if there's no video up, that means I'm either dead or without power. So, well, for tomorrow anyway. Or the day after that, or the day after that. And there will be no one whatsoever to indicate which is true, unless I suddenly come back and say this. Wow, you actually gave me the evolution chest this time. Didn't last time. You didn't last time. Well, Fadango is up or closer. So get that up first. Hmm, do I need max evolution for it? Well, we'll see. Well, no. Let's see, we we'll just require wings. There's it, max. Let's wait till I max out my wings before I grab it. Wait, why does it feel like I've been here before with her? It's not marked on the Beswick if I have. Unless I did it wrong. I did someone else with a freeze build here, didn't I? That's why I'm thinking about it. Yay! The Grim Fadon or the Celestial Volge. Grim Fadongo is the game. Glass Fadongo is the base weapon. Now yeah, Prism last because I do not want to get Geodora yet. Also, it's better. Yay, better. Then I'll be fast enough to take down both of them dang Atlanteans. Or both. All four of them. It's both as a pair. Yeah, it's pretty dang fast, even without... Things. Boosted up. Things. Misspeaking. Yeah, she just tearing through them all with no trouble. Now yeah, she'll tear through them all with even less trouble. You're gonna get time warped, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Wow, that's got no area at base, huh? Alright, now that I have both the weapons I want up. Guess it's not like Mirage Robe is terrible since it'll stop that dang Atlantean and a couple other enemies from getting into me. But still, it's not as satisfying a weapon as a lot of others. Oh, hey, boss. Drop me my boss chest. Give me that sweet, sweet evolution. No, I haven't even seen the dang Mystic or Mirage Robe clones coming out. It's been too many enemies on screen. Oh, I don't have a lot of kills. Let's max it out just to be cautious. Things change. And there we go. Now I can just random always and win. Da, 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 da. Bones aren't as fast as she is. Wow, that was the worst level known to man. Guess she just grabbed and might instead of selecting anything. Uh, am I going to get anything out of candy boxes? Not whatsoever. 
Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, easy breezy. That's nice. Cause then once again, I have timed myself terribly. Good thing I learned that if you don't if you just upload the video, it somehow makes it upload faster. That's a hot YouTube trick. Don't add any descriptions immediately. Just hit OK. And this will suddenly cause YouTube to not take five hours to upload your video. Oh wow, where did I get hit so hard from? What could have hit me so hard? Hey, maybe I should get... Oh. Ran right into the Atlantean, and you're not frozen for some reason. Hey, yeah, candy bucks. I've completely lost track of what's going on on screen. This isn't good considering it's not even that much. Oh, hey, vacuum. Not that helpful, but okay. Maybe she could get Silent Old Sanctuary first, just because it would make sure time warp's always up. It's three candy boxes! Cripes! Any other run, that would be crazy. And this, it's nothing. It's actively detrimental. So that could be health, instead. Boy, oh, you don't want to give me any chickens, huh? Oh, here we go. Finally. Hey! Alright, I really wanted to get Jail of Crystal first, but I think Silent Old Sanctuary is going to be too necessity to get time warp going. Hey, no base game warp. One Atlantean down. Are both of them down, actually? Heck, maybe I should start off with Silent Old Sanctuary. Yeah, I think starting off Silent Old Sanctuary is going to be the better play, rather than... Out of Bounds. Duh. Celestial Volts, and I think that's the Zodiac signs appearing around her when she does that. I don't know why, but okay. I mean, it's probably a reference to Final Fantasy Tactics, because, well, there's a lot of reference to Final Fantasy Tactics. You got the bracelet. You got the Brave Story. And probably one other thing I forgot. Okay, so then really there's like two or three. But still, they exist, and it's very clear they're supposed to be existing for that. Well, I mean, I guess technically Aerith is also a reference to that, because Aerith is in Final Fantasy Tactics. Not the one from Final Fantasy VII, but her own character. There's also a flower seller. Oh, that's another Celestial Voltage going off. Yep, those were definitely the Zodiac signs. Huh. I guess that makes it four. Which makes, like, four references. And there's, well, two for sure for Sukaden and... Maybe three if you want to count 108 Boche, because 108 starts with Destiny. But on the flip side, 108 is just a... Hmm, why isn't Silver Ring here? I mean, it's here, but it's not on the map for whatever reason. Yeah. Yeah. So you can defang the Stalker, but you can't defang the Atlanteans. They're getting frozen, too. That's interesting. Time warp garlic? Keep everything that gets in... Heck, actually, would anything even be able to get through you? If you did do time warp... Like, this is already... It's not stopping. It's endless. So I'll switch off... For the next one, I'll switch off... Of Mirage Robe and throw on garlic instead. So this is... Well, already better. I mean, it's already... doesn't stop. Oh, hey, I broke through. I wasn't expecting that. And hey, normal enemies won't spawn in here, but the Molisvin will. 
It's kind of funny watching them spawn in the void like this. Can I get a good screenshot? Yeah, void trees. Yeah, weren't there clouds in the background at one point? I swear there were. Oh well, if I look back at my earliest footage, it'll probably be proving me wrong, but hey, that's life for you. Think one thing is true and you never really think about it, then just sort of think about something. You see something like, wait, wasn't it something else entirely? Tower live, tower live. Oh, nope, do not want you. I mean, I want you, but I'm not going to pick you. Got to keep my hands clean for the Beswick Third Wave rule set. I'm actually getting close to the DLC characters, and... Oh, I really should have gotten the other thing. The prep work for the Fourth Wave done earlier, huh? Yeah, whatever. Even if I get to the DLC, it'll take still, like, another month. But definitely, Fourth Wave is where I'm going to be making up some serious ground. Maybe I can actually catch up to where I was before Operation Guns released and added like 500 new combinations. Boy, was that hard. What can I say? There's nothing but victory on screen. She just shooting through everything with no issue. It's amazing. Ah, oh, it's so nice to just have a one for one with no trouble, no issue, nothing but victory. That makes her better than Queen Sigma, doesn't she? Ha 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 ha. No oh, right, this exists. She a crystal. Actually, it doesn't affect Time Warp or Jadora. Those... But I don't actually need this. In fact, I don't want it at all. Uh, well, then let's get awake just to be safe. Five revives should be more than enough. I don't even think I'm going to need one, but hey, might as well. Really low kill count, though. Uh, let's see. Where am I heading to next after this? Tiny Bridge? Yeah, it's gonna be Tiny Bridge, which is actually kind of nice for her. Since you can just roll through with her Glass Fidango. And it is Glass Fidango. Grim Fidango is the video game. Which I haven't played, but I know because, well... The premise is unique. I don't even know what the premise is. I just know it's called Grim Fidango and there's a skelly boy. Involved... Ouch. Time Warp is ridiculously good. It's literally better garlic, isn't it? Better Soul Eater and better garlic. I mean, what is it going to get through this? It does more damage than either. Which is no surprise. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, not good to know. Not even the... This boss is usually kind of annoying, just because it's so durable and it can't do anything. You actually get in. No, you're just stopped cold by it. Alright, let's see what garlic... Heck. I was on another character. Maybe... No, who... Who's lot? Uh, Santa... no. 
Yeah, time warp is basically just an eye wind button, isn't it? Even the slightest bit of damage will just keep them back. I was thinking of going like the triple area, but all the characters who have it innate are done for this wave. Bible, garlic, time warp. Nothing's gonna get through that, really. Anything that does is probably gonna be de warped by or defanged by the end of it. Yeah, I guess I could turn off defang, but that's boring. It gives me some gameplay incentive because certainly some enemies will be affected by it, except apparently not these angel things. None of them are green. Are they immune to being defanged? Not even stalkers immune to being defanged. Heck, the boss wave here is not immune to it. Now they're getting close, but they still can't get through. This isn't even like the highest damaging possibility either. It's just crazy. Heck, it's really low damage, all things considered. But she is not having any trouble. They haven't touched her once, and anything that's gotten through has either been frozen or defanged. Ridiculous evolution. If it wasn't for the fact that Pronto Laser existed, it would probably be the best one from Operation Guns. I really need to get that tier list set up, but it's been way too long. No one's going to have any interest in it anymore. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. Ah, the sweet, sweet release of death. Huh, oh, you just powered through. I freeze, didn't you? Interesting. 9.1 on the Volge. Wow, 8.4 on... Yeah, pretty decent spread all around, all things considered. Time for Shimu to be charging through the tiniest of bridges. Tiny bridge, tiny bridge, we're gonna go to tiny bridge. Hey -o, and get some Sun Old Sanctuary off the bat. Do not want you today, Mirage Robe, it's garlic time. Um, alright. Oh, right, no, it's not an old sanctuary. It gives you the extra rerolls and stuff. Well, Wings was already on the map, so I really shouldn't have grabbed it. All right, and there's Prism Last. We'll stack them up, stun them up. Da -da -da. Get the tome up first, because it's Empty Tome. Everyone loves Empty Tome. Hey, there's my equipment fully set up. Four minutes has passed. That's nice. No early evolutions here, so... Probably actually shouldn't be getting this and save the level for the wings. Huh. Oh well. Alright, just getting knocked back because of the garlic, huh? All right, now just go to the right, because... Er, well, is there a reason not to go to the right? Because I'm already going to the left. That's a reason. Oh, it's doing nothing. Oh, there we go. Pomerola may be worthless, but... Er... Oh yeah, Pomerola may be worthless. It'll get me a Soul Eater, and then I'll have double barrier, and it'll be weaker to freeze. Which means the time warp will constantly be freezing it, then it'll be out of bounds but exploding. Dang swords. Rip and explode. Yeah, it's just that it's so small compared to how big you can get it with just some Candelabrador levels. Alright, I actually need to stop. Oh, 
Oh, garlic, oh, garlic. No, oh, it doesn't scale well to late game. Well, if it clears the early game for you, it's good, isn't it? Oh, it doesn't help you get a billion kills. Well, if it helps you get to get into a billion kills. The fire on them. Line of thought for me. I don't even do tier list in the fire emblem. I just think it's got a point. Like if I ever fully committed to the tier list idea, it wouldn't be just like, oh, strong or weak or blah, blah, blah. Helps you get a lot of kills. It would be more fully digitized analysis of what's going on. I was breaking out. That was fast. Also, not a single chest has dropped. Speed definitely helps the speed break through. Stop giving me gems! Oh, yay, lucky. Nope, I want to out of bounds. I want to go out of bounds. And select the Arcano for the same name. Ooh, amount one. Two amount right off of that, nice. Well, neither of those are great, so. Two percent area. Two percent area. Kettle Labrador and Torona's box. And even good old Boogaloo of Illusions. So good with the bulge. And the Glesfodongo as well. Oh no, there's a chest, finally. Felt like an age for it to show up. I did not get area. No reason not to get area on Soul Eater. It's not going to do damage. Only four area makes one level of Candle Labrador. All the squares make a circle. Wow, that's a lot of might. Oh, it's getting through this. Nothing at all. Oh, it's nice to relax after so much trouble along the way. Where are you at, chest? Where are you at? Oh, you were not an evolution chest. So now I've taken my leftward journey away. Hey, more mount. Okay, I think I would prefer so much more area on Soul Eater so that way it hits everything. Oh, it has gotten a bit bigger. Still, area is better than might. No more chests, no more chests. No time work for me. Time to go to Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Alrighty, mighty. Right, and wind spirits, generally pretty dangerous, but now they're getting crushed. And frozen and beaten back. Once I have time warp, they don't stand a chance. Oh. Yeah, that figures. No, just charge forward. That's the better option. They can't catch me on the back end, and this will clear my front. Sure would have been nice to get my time warp chest, though, but oh my god, I don't think that could possibly be a worse. 
Well, I guess Stalker is worse. I don't know what... Drowner, no. Drowner would be the absolute worst here because there's nothing you could do about it. It's gonna get there. You can't stop it. You can't go up. Man, if I ain't gotten lucky on that triple chest with the Arcana. Why aren't you dead? Jeez. There we go. Finally got the time warp again. Let's do the time warp again. Put your hands on your hips. I have no idea what the next lyrics are. Wait. Man, I didn't even destroy the thing. Hey, I can go random always now. Uh, just grab a wake, I guess. Boogaloo's too late to come and play. Why am I going right? I'm going left. Because evil. You didn't know the left hand was considered evil. For a long time. In fact, it hasn't stopped. So that's why... The cleric beast's left hand is all lie like that because left hand is evil left hand is evil meanwhile I get the advantages of both because I'm ambidextrous yay ambidexterity or am I lying like I've lied so many times before <laughs> ah. Ah. Being evil rules. Well, I wasn't expecting the sun out this week at all. Nifty. Please be 15 minutes long, even though I know it's 20 because this is not your final wave. There's no when he's running about. Nothing's piercing through this as long as I just keep moving. They can't stop coming. Well, they'll never stop coming. But they'll never break through. That's the real sign here. No anyway. I nibble and I quibble about other people getting words wrong, but I can't speak well whatsoever. Just lose my train of thought. Awkward pauses all the time. And to think I consider myself quite erudite. Erudite as well. Ho ho ho. But when I fly through the sky with the greatest of ease. Indeed. Oh. Wow, that... So I got stuck on the little... Huh, what are they called? Outcropping? Let's go with outcropping, though. It's probably not the official term. Got stuck on the outcropping at the same time I got the Aura Logan. So that really popped my... Oh, wow, a rosary. Can I just stand still now? Is this... No. Cockatrice. Wait, where are they yellow? Yep. Cockatrice wave wiped out so many attempts before, but now it's just getting beaten back like that cockatrice they are. I don't even need a mirrored shield. Huh. Cock no, I mean they have to have shown up in World of Warcraft by now. They have bloody ends of all things. No, they have basilisks and well they don't actually have gorgons. Naga are kind of gorgony, but they don't really have any stone powers. Well, female Naga are... Well, more like just the sea witches. Ah, uh, good old Moonglow. Good place for Shimun to head over and end her run on the third wave of the Beswick. Oh, there's no issues for this lady. I don't even have to go over there. Yeah. 
EA power-ups. Oh, it's nice to have a character that just had no issues whatsoever the entire way through. Every other character, there was some problem for so long. Even Queen Sigma lost because I was trying to be something really dumb. But nope, no problems with this blue lady. Oh, that's a regular merchant. Right, prison lass. I don't even have... Hey, why is it? It's... Man, I got way more tome than I thought I did. Eh, don't want to give me the lass, eh? No lass for the lassie. It feels so awkward because the level on the Vold isn't actually that high. It's actually attacking in a really odd pattern when normally even with less cooldown because of all the levels on it, its cooldown gets decreased. Its innate cooldown gets decreased. It's actually attacking slower despite having a lo lower cooldown. Or is it just projectiles? Oh, it's pure projectiles, isn't it? Huh. Well, I should get the last in there while it's safer. Da 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 da. Stupid phone. I do mean stupid phone. You're only. God, I can still count your age on one hand and you're already messing up constantly. Is it that hard to load one stupid article? I got my glass bolt. What am I doing? I have to go punch Atlanteans in the face. Um, let's say hi to Golden Merchant if he's still here. Dun, da -da. Aha! She Moon Glowing. That'll totally be the chapter name for this section. There is no way that will go wrong. Wow, I'm way off. I'm way off of everything. Holy cromony. Holy cromony. Alright, there's one Atlantean. Yeah, will I actually be able to defeat him before things get worse? Probably not, because I have no damage. Oh, well, I skimmed you, huh? I think that's more damage than I took than all Tiny Bridge. Ow, wow, I'm way too close to you. Oh, actually, I could evolve a Bulge if you let me. Nope, you're just a regular old chest. Not on a stage that's 15 minutes long. You aren't evolving at 5 minutes in. Oh, bye-bye, silver ring. I will never reach out for you. Now, I've gone over this a few times, but hey, maybe you're new. Of course you're new. Who's been following this series for over 200 videos? Certainly not I. Certainly not I. Oh. No, wait, that doesn't supercharge me. Oh, it still does. Just not as ridiculous as it is. Well, supercharge the weapon, not supercharge me. Also, it would be supercharge and she moon. Oh no, I am she moon in real life. All right, I'm always. It doesn't matter. I don't have any evolutions anyway. I'm only gonna get one, so I really don't feel like exploding the length of this section for no reason.
Square plants. Square plants. You plant them and they're square. Oh, I got hit. Could probably stop that. Cry battle. Oh man, I didn't say cry battle as soon as it appeared. How lame. How lame I've become. Completely forgotten the closest thing to a meme I have, which is just stealing memes from other places. Which might not even be a real meme, because... Well, who else remembers Crab Battle but I? I remember Crab Battle. It should be right. Uh, yet sometimes it is wrong. I remember crab battle. Who else does? Oh, hey, a blue. And it's Soul Eater. Wondrous. Oh, damage. Surprising. Well, this was not right. Okay, just circle my way out, make a breakthrough. Hey, vacuum. I'll get some levels, and I'll proc some weapon hits. Which is, frankly, completely worthless for... Less but I'm going Celestial Bulge, huh? Huh. Now I think about it, is it a reference to Grim Fandango? Wow, how far back was that chest? Why is there a golden egg down there? What? Okay, I have to... Oh no, that's just the symbol for the gold merchant. Or at least I think it is. Yep, what would life be without a drowner? Better, apparently. Oh, that wiped out everything threatening. Well, way too out for out of bounds to get anything resembling a score, but hey, I got all my stuff evolved. Yay! Just try and break that, you Atlantean. Oh no, you broke it. Very easily. Huh. So you don't get frozen at all, even with Soul Eater and Garlic nullifying your resistance. Well, I killed you at least. Ow. All these snakes and aren't getting zones. Ah, uh, more defang. What? Are there two drowners layered exactly on top of each other? I think it is. I think it is. Boy, have I never seen that happen before. Oh no, the defanged water is hurting me. Well, at least I got him. Hey, a candy box. Clearly, I should break the rules at the very end and get a whip. That'll save me. You, oh, right. You were moving during it because it doesn't stop you. For whatever reason. Oh, wow. Prismless, of all things, does the most. Oh, that's sad. That's so very sad. And with a mighty war, Shimun is taking out 380. That's not Shimun, that's not Shimun at all. That is, though. That's 380 down with Shimun. 381 on the tiny bridge. And over here on Moon Glow, 382. Just right in the right position. Boy, howdy, is it annoying doing this? Alrighty, alrighty. Let's see how many left there is. Probably 1,550. Oh, 1,549. I must have mathed that off, yeah. 
1,550 more stage character combinations to go. Oh, boy. Thank you for watching. I hope you had some fun. Thanks anyone who supported the channel. And if you haven't, I like and appreciate a like or dislike or comment or subscription. Either way, I hope you have a good day and you keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor Beswick.